Hey, what's going on right now? You watching Casino is the name, and folks, it's here. Artificial intelligence is gonna change everything uh, in the world of accounting, in the trucking industry. I mean, you name it, computers are gonna change the world. I mean, they've already changed the world, but artificial intelligence is gonna change everything. So I had the pleasure of giving a guy a ride who worked at the Big Four, uh, one of the Big Four accounting firms. I'm also an accountant, so we got into a pretty good uh, conversation about you know accounting and the career field itself. And and so I asked him, you know, like what section he worked in since I work in audit, you know, and he said that he works in consulting. So I said, oh, okay, okay. So how long you been around? Cause okay, let me explain. So usually. To work in consulting, you usually started in either tax or audit, and then eventually you work your way up, and you know once you got some experience, then you would move over into consulting. So the guy said he worked in consulting, so I figured he had at least been working for the big four at least two, three years, maybe longer, and he said that actually he was in his first year, and I thought that was odd, you know, and so I said, well, how is that since you know, this is your first year, how did you go straight into consulting? I said, why aren't you like working in tax or audit or something? And he said, oh, he said, that's because computers do everything. And he said, pretty much, they pretty much handle the tax and the audit stuff now. And, you know, so all the new people who came in with him went straight into consulting. That was pretty interesting. And so, here we are, you know, the world of accounting is, is being affected drastically. They said that uh, the computers that artificial intelligence programs or whatever they're using can process or go through thousands of steps of an audit by the time a person could. They cut down the times drastically, weeks, months, years on the time that it would take humans to pretty much process through those those types of information. And also, the trucking industry. Well, almost every industry is being affected by artificial intelligence, but let's say the trucking industry. You would think that it would have been an industry that would have been untouched, but they're making semi-trucks and they're doing long hauls, which is also part of the reason why I also went into hotshot trucking. So. My, my business is a hotshot trucking business currently, and the reason why I chose hotshot trucking because I felt that it would be the least affected by the coming technologies. Now, I do believe that unlike, say, accounting and other types of, uh, I guess, administrative positions that trucking has a lot longer, you know, longer time before it's really affected drastically by artificial intelligence, but it is coming. It may be maybe not in our, you know, not in our immediate future, but it's coming. And I just felt that hot shot trucking would just be better protected since it's it's a different kind of trucking. Um, so I just figured hot shot trucking would be better protected than uh, against the coming artificial intelligence, against the coming computers. So that's why I chose my side but they definitely have trucks they're preparing trucks to drive for themselves uh it is crazy to see the technology um they even have different demonstrations that you can check out whether it be it trucking or just like watching accounting software work through processes it's crazy and that we you know we don't have a chance against that kind of technology uh you know, we saw the grocery stores change. We saw the the you know the the self checkout lines show up, and you know, and so those people lost jobs. You know, and and I, sometimes I wonder, are they just keeping uh, the the other lanes open to make us feel good about ourselves? Because I know that you know one person working a ten self checkout lane is is processing way faster than one individual person and I don't know if they're just doing that just to keep the complaints down from the public for now but I can see a time where you just go in a grocery store and there are no people uh, checking you out maybe one or two people sitting back and watching 10 different self checkout lines in case you got an issue and they can come over and so this is this is a crazy world we're living in um, that's and, and it's gonna get crazier so 
A lot of people gonna be without a job. So I believe that the best situation that you can end up in is to be, is to adapt to the future, you know? To, to, to be one of those people who, say if it's self-driving trucks, maybe you need to get, you know, take a, and you're a driver, maybe you need to take a, some lessons on, you know, the coming technologies or try to get as abreast to what's coming uh, so that you could be one of those people who can move in in case the truck malfunctions or and you know how to work it or if the, the you know they need somebody who can work those technologies who has a CDL maybe that may be the future for you um, so it's just it's just just try to stay you know as flexible as possible including accounting if you're an accountant and you don't understand how to use some of the technology man you're gonna be lost I'm telling you it's coming Gone are the days where we were just doing all the numbers crunching ourselves and doing all the research ourselves, man. We can't move as fast as these computers. It's crazy. I mean, it is what it is. But at least you can know how to pull the information out of the program. You can uh, interface with the program. You know how to interface with the program, and so you'll have a you'll be a, you'll have a valuable you know uh, skill set. Uh, even with with uh, the investment companies. I'm finding out that a lot of them, they, they take your, a lot of the, the investors, they take your information, they, you know, they, they take your age, weight, whatever, you know what I'm saying, your, your financial situation, they take all of that information and they put it into a program and that program decides what would be the best investment strategy for you. That investor then comes back to you and say, hey, this is what I believe your best situation is. So you may be believing that this investor went and did all of this stuff, but really they're using a program nine times out of 10 and that program is telling them that based on future projections and all of this information that is processed, that this would be the best situation for you. So man, I mean, AI is coming, man, and it's gonna be replacing tens of thousands of people at a time it's, 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 it's crazy so just stay flexible man learn that program learn those programs learn how to get on these computers it's coming it's coming you know drones are gonna be dropping off packages and you know grocery stores are gonna or well, you're gonna be able to get grocery delivered to your house you're gonna have to go anywhere cars are gonna go gonna start pulling up and you just got to get in them you're not going a lot of people are not gonna own cars and you know this is the future we're living in and it's crazy you see what gm just did gm just shut down like five factories they're like man we fit to just try and figure out this autonomous stuff we're not even fit to worry about trying to sell you cars we just gonna try and get into this this ride share program and have our own self-driving cars come pick you up and drop you off so this is the future we're living in man anyway y'all hit like subscribe and uh, make sure you hit the bell Anyway, watch the casino as a name, signing out. Close your eyes.